Hello everyone, welcome to Nafi's Learner's Zone. So in the previous video, we had discussed about the resistivity and the resistance. So this video, we are going to discuss about the system of resistors. So how the resistors are connected in an electric circuit. So that we are going to discuss in this video. So what ways we connect the electrical resistors. So resistors are generally connected in two ways. That is in series and in parallel. So how it is connected, what difference does it make by connecting the resistors in series and the connecting the resistors in parallel that we are going to discuss in this video. So first thing, what if the resistors are connected in series? How? First of all, let's know what is series and how it's connected. Suppose if this is a resistor and this is the another resistor and these two resistors are connected end to end then it is set this it is said to be in series okay so in general you might have seen uh, the street lights they are connected end to end or uh, the decoration uh, lights uh, on your home for uh, many functions use decoration lights those lights are connected end to end one to end connect connection yeah, you can even uh, see that just one switch can on all the bulbs and one switch can off everything will go off so that is actually a series combination where the resistors are connected in series with each other so what how do how does the resistance affects in the series that we need to study so what happens when we connect resistance in series there are one thing you have to remember very importantly when the resistors are connected in series in a circuit then the current flown in each of the resistors will be same okay the current flown in each of the resistors will be same means if many bulbs there are so many hundreds of bulbs are connected in series the current flown in all hundred bulbs will be same doesn't change anything but the potential difference varies from one to other the potential difference varies okay means the voltage voltage varies from one to other and the current will be same means i is constant and v is variable so if you have to find the resistance at each resistor then we have to connect e voltmeter at each to uh, find out the voltage because voltage varies it is different because it is series connection so from this we can mathematically uh, write it you know according to ohm's law we know v is equal to i r okay so at resistor 1 it will be v1 is equal to i r1 where i is constant r1 means the resistance of the first resistor v2 is equal to i r2 and v3 is equal to i r3 so on okay so that's how because potential difference is difference in all where v1 where v1 plus v2 plus v3 is equal to v or v3 or v100 whatever it might be there so the sum of the potential difference of all these resistors connected is equal to the total potential difference or total voltage of the electrical circuit so if there are three resistors connected v1 v2 and v3 v1 v2 plus v3 v1 plus v2 plus v3 is equal to v okay that's potential from this equation we can uh, combine the combine this we have first equation v is equal to ir secondly we have v1 is equal to ir1 v2 is equal to ir2 v3 is equal to ir3 so just v substitute v is equal to v1 plus v2 plus v3 then v1 is equal to ir1 so just let's take v is equal to ir1 plus ir2 plus ir3 so what is common in this i the current as i told you current is constant in series so let's take i common so what do we get so we get i into r1 plus r2 plus r3 so here we have v is equal to ir and here v1 plus v2 plus v3 is equal to 
i into r1 plus r2 plus r3. So both side i i are common again. Cancel the current both side. So what do we get? We get r is equal to r1 plus r2 plus r3. Means when the resistors are connected in series, the sum of the resistance of all the resistors connected are, is equal to the total resistance of the circuit. Okay, that can be mathematically represented as R is equal to R1 plus R2 plus R3. Fine. That is the formula to find out the resistance in series. And when resistors are connected in parallel to each other, so they are, these are parallel, two parallel lines you might have studied in mathematical mathematics, two parallel lines, means two lines which never meets each other, they are parallel. So two lines, if the resistors are connected parallel to each other, so one, two, then again this, a parallel to each other, when the, you can check out in the slide here, so when the resistors are connected in parallel, how does the resistance varies? So, as we have seen in series studies, the sum of the resistance of the, all the resistors is equal to the total resistance of the circuit, what happens in parallel. So, there is one thing here you have to remember like in the previous. In series, you have seen the current is constant in the circuit and the potential difference that is voltage varies. It is exact opposite in parallel. So what here is the potential difference is constant. The voltage is constant in the parallel circuit and the current will be different at different resistors. So different resistors current can be drawn differently. So this parallel connection we can see in our homes. We discuss in, in the next while about this. Uh, comparison of the series combination and the parallel combination. So let's check out mathematically what is parallel combination. So as we have, there we have seen the V is equal to IR as the potential difference varies. Let's take about current here. So you know current, according to Ohm's law, I is equal to V by R. Okay. So then the current at the first resistance will be I1 is equal to V by R1 because V is constant. There is no change here. Then I2 is equal to V by R2. I3 is equal to V by R3. Okay. So uh, I hope you got it if you have got series combination. So just interchanging. So same way, let's take I is equal to V by R and substitute this value. So I is equal to V by R. Let's take V by R at LHS side. At HS, we have to take that's I1 plus I2 plus I3. That is nothing but what we have V by R1 plus V by R2 plus V by R3. So this, what do we get? What is common in this V? Let's take that as common V. So what we got V by R is equal to V into 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2 plus 1 by R3. So what we have common at LHS and RHS, V. Let's cancel at LHS and RHS both, V. So what do we got? 1 by R is equal to 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2 plus 1 by R3. So this is the formula to find out the combined resistance when the resistors are in parallel to each other. Okay, parallel. This is the formula for parallel resistance. The problems, you'll get the problems on both the formulas both the resistance then even you have combination of the resistance where both series and parallel will be there so that you have to solve problems for some technical issues due to this lockdown i won't be able to solve problems at this moment in the videos hope sooner we are going soon we, we are i am going to discuss about some important problems in some videos Ho hope this lockdown is going to open soon i get some materials to do that Okay, so this, remember the formula, 1 by R is equal to 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2 plus 1 by R3. So by definition, we can say that uh, the reciprocal of the combined resistance in parallel is equal to the sum of the reciprocal of the all the resistors connected in parallel. Okay, so that is about parallel resistance. So the two also we had, uh, we had discussed. So combination of that, 
I'm going to discuss when I solve some problems because you won't get it uh, just overly. So we'll discuss some problem in the next video. Now let us discuss about the comparison of the resistors in series and resistors in parallel. So in uh, the beginning we had seen about the resistors in series. Resistors in series has some disadvantages. So what are those? The thing is when we connect the resistors in series as you know that the current will be constant and the potential difference varies. So what happens is here if we connect two devices of different current requirement then it's not possible to work because if you connect a refrigerator and a bulb in series what happens is the bulb and the refrigerator both draws the equal current so you can imagine what happens so that is why we cannot connect these in series so that is a disadvantage in case if we have similar or the same kind of uh, loads or devices means bulbs in a straight line so there that's not a problem there we use in series but when we have to use the different kind of devices then we cannot connect in series so that is one disadvantage second disadvantage is that even you connect in series all the devices will work on only single switch means a single so imagine your home connected all the places connected in series means if you switch on the light your tv your refrigerator the fan washing machine everything gets switched on if you off everything gets switched off <laughs> that's that's that also is one disadvantage moreover it doesn't work only as uh, uh, the current drawn will be same to all and there are uh, chances that if a if a device draws large amount of current other device couldn't re cannot resist that there are chances of short circuit okay it's about short circuit and all we are going to discuss uh, later okay so that's other disadvantages so does parallel has the advantage yes obviously parallel has the advantages over this this is a very very important questions what are the advantages of connecting electrical devices in parallel over series so you can compare it and write or you can write down the disadvantages then write down the advantage so remember what you have to read the question properly what is as either advantages of parallel as or disadvantages of series is as most sometimes my students earlier has done many a times mistake is whenever the advantage of parallel is as they used to write disadvantage of series so obviously th there is a connection but that's not the exact answer you have to compare it how let's discuss what are the advantages of parallel connection so what let's take it from the disadvantage so one is the current was same in series but in parallel the current will be different at different resistors means each device connected in parallel can draw its required amount of current there is no nothing like constantly same current will be drawn no the refrigerator can draw higher current if it requires what it requires then the bulb requires less current it can draw less current so that is one advantage over the series second advantage is like uh, i told you there is only one switch in series here no there are different switches for different devices we can switch off and on that's how we do it in our homes so in our homes we have parallel connections okay not series series connections where it will be the decoration light or the street lights so see in your cities street lights uh, those street lights if they have single switch for each light it's difficult to uh, difficult to come every at every street light and switch it on so if it is in series at one place if it is switched on all will get switched on automatically okay so that those are the advantages of connecting electrical devices in parallel over series right okay so that's it uh, in this video in the next video we are going to learn about heating effect of electric current fine so thank you so much for watching Please like, share and uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't and press the bell icon so that you get the notification of all my videos.